Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so the make that I am trying to make, apparently it's pretty simple, but I've messed with the pattern. That's been the problem. Are these. Now this is from the Cashmeret Club and they are like yoga pants. They're called the Ashwood pants. And I was trying to make the version that doesn't have the split. So these, they've got a beautiful wide uh, yoga band, waistband on them. And I got some fabric from Minerva quite a while ago with these in mind that is just so beautiful. It's a heavy weight, um, heavyweight ponty absolutely brilliant quality they were it was expensive i think it was about 19 pounds a meter and so i've made the you it was like four sections um and i have tried them on the length is perfect because i took about again six inches out but the problem is that i knew the rise would be too big i tried to take the rise off uh, i think i t tried to take two inches off and I'm not sure what I've done, but the back is a lot, lot bigger than the front. Now, when I've tried them on, if I take the back off like that with the front, obviously the waistband's not on yet, they, they do fit because the waistband's quite thick. <sighs> I'm really upset with myself. I don't think I should have messed with the rise for the first time out or maybe didn't try two inches, maybe try, you know, half an inch or an inch. So what I'm planning to do is to take the the waistband piece and cut cut it so it matches the front. I don't know if that's right, but I'm just not willing to give up on these because they are so beautiful and they've got this boot cut, which I do struggle to get in my height because I'm only four foot eleven so you know everything about them is beautiful this fabric I can't tell you how lovely it is and I'm just so mad with myself but I'm going to try to save them because essentially that's probably about 40 pounds worth of well it was about it was about um a meter and a half I think I ended up using so um probably about 30 pound pair of trousers which I'm not prepared to give up on so I'd just need to bite the bullet and somehow cobble something together. I did get that on a PDF, so what I'm going to do is get that reprinted. Don't bother with the rise. Take the six inches out of the leg again and um, make another pair because I do think they will come in an awful lot. Sorry, just looking at my notes. So, uh, what shall we do next? Uh, shall we do some plants I haven't been buying anything of late this is things that arrived really around the Christmas holidays so this was kind of like a little Christmas present to myself I have got from Lamazi Fabrics this beautiful uh, viscose and I just loved all the colours in it. I've been going for navies and a bit of green and whites, so really liked this. I've got a metre and a half, and what I am planning to do is the uh, trusty Wildergown top, but I'm gonna hack the sleeves a little bit. I'm gonna make them more balloony, so slash and spread just to give it a bit more voluptuous uh, or voluminous um, quality on that top. So that's something that's coming down the track, hopefully. And then also from Lamazi Fabrics, I was oh, I think that's an all right match. I got uh, this uh, knit. It's quite thick. I think this might be a, uh, was it a French terry or... Yes, I think it might have been a French terry. I got two metres of this and I am planning to make the Marlow cardigan, but I haven't done, oops, I haven't done the, the longer length one yet. And I do have to mess about with this pattern a little bit because the drop shoulders 
don't really suit so I take kind of a wedge out of the top bit I take some out of the sleeve as well but I think that might look really warm and cosy so definitely want to get that made up soon because obviously that's Christmas uh, Christmassy wintry colors so that's those two plans I'm also going to finally bite the bullet and try and make the Lyra and I've got some Demin Chambray and I was thinking of actually trying this version and I'm going to try and lean into the kind of like cowgirl um, vibes I've got a pair of cowboy boots in fact I've got two pairs now um, and yeah I've got to, I'm going to give it a go I've been practicing my um, buttonholes I've been practicing my buttonholes I'm hoping it's going to work so I've got three meters of that the prop the thing that's been putting me off is I think I'll need to do a full bust adjustment which I've been getting better at but lots of things can go wrong so we'll see we'll see the other thing actually why i've been putting it off is i hate doing ruffles uh, or gathers so i've been doing a bit of research i took the plunge and bought this this probably arrived actually it must have been about october november and i've still not opened it it looks a bit like a piece of torture equipment or something like that but this is called a ruffler foot and i think that you feed in both bits of fabric and it does it for you it makes the gather looking at it it's got four settings so i'm not sure how you work out which setting you you do i'm assuming there must be some maths involved in it so i need to do a bit more research into that before i try that one uh what else have I been buying? Again, this this is fabric that whoops, whoops whoops. This is fabric that came well before Christmas actually, but I've just not had time to properly engage with it. And I just think this is brilliant. I saw this ages and ages ago on the Minerva website, and then it just disappeared, and then it was back, and it's this. It is a Minerva exclusive. I've bought three meters of it. It's viscose. And I just think that the fabric pattern is just fab. And I'm a history teacher. And this just looks like a medieval city or um, Renaissance Florence or Rome or something like that. And I just think it is fab. So I'm hoping if my Lyra plans work out, that will also become a Lyra, hopefully. And I took the plunge. I'm wanting to, uh, I'm wanting to make um, a better work wardrobe. And <laughs> I'm not quite sure what possessed me. I'm going to make either some Billy dresses or a kind of adaption of that but using the cashmere Tobin pattern and making jumper dresses because they are comfortable. And I got this fabric from Minerva. Now, obviously this isn't everybody's cup of tea or what people would wear for work, but given that I work in a school, uh, if ever I wear any form of fabrics, like it, it goes down okay. And from a distance, these actually do just look like lines, but they are all different sharks. So I've got a hammerhead shark, a great white, uh, lots and lots of different ones. So really happy with that. I love the background colour. And I first saw Angela from Devon Threadtails uh, using that because I think her daughter really likes sharks. So that's what inspired me. So thank you for that. And that was two meters. And then I also got this one with all different planets, uh, astronauts, constellations. So again, I think this was a French Terry. I've got two meters of it and I'm gonna do the same again. But I just think the detail on that is lovely. I don't think it is too um, childish. And I've 
one of my pairs of cowboy boots are kind of silvery and all the kids keep saying that my shoes look galactic so I'm hoping to add to the galactic vibes with that one so I've got lots of plans um, really I should try and sort out those cashmere pants before I do anything else because I hate to have things hanging over me and especially when I think they they could be such a winner it is just trying to work out what to actually do with that back I mean should the back be it can't possibly be that much bigger because the band will never you know that's the difference there so it's easily two inches but I don't know what I've done whether I've taken the rise off twice on the front I don't know I don't know so any help would be greatly received any advice uh, do please let me know other things that I have been doing this week well when I wasn't very well I watched the fabulous Whitney on Tomcat that, that, that Tomcat stitchery and she was talking about the love notions sale and it was the last day and I was feeling a bit sorry for myself so I did buy four patterns so I bought the Magna blazer which Whitney talks about an awful lot and I think that looks really smart I think it will come in loads so I bought that one uh, I bought the Tessa sheath dress and this uh, the Sybil or Sibby Sybil I think it's called skirts that you can inter match between so you can there's like hundreds of combinations if you think about it seven different skirts lots and lots of different dresses sheath dressy type stuff all for knits and then the final one that I got that I can't remember the name of is a cardigan that I've had my eye on for a long time and I think Rachel from French Seams made a lovely version of it and since I saw that I've been thinking Oh, you know I want to make my own so took advantage of the last day of the love notions um, I think it was 30 was it 30 percent off sale so pretty decent so happy with that so I think I'm gonna end there um, what am I doing now I really do need to tidy my house up however I would maybe do a bit of cheeky sewing and I'm, we're hoping to nip out and go and see some folk music so that's what we're doing today what are you doing in the final hours of the weekend and what have you got planned for the week ahead let me know so thank you very much and thank you to all the vloggers out there who kept me company when i wasn't very well this week so thanks for that and i hope to see you again really soon bye